Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I am going to show you how to dynamically change the environment into a autumn like environment. So if I set this to 1, set this value to 0, it is green and as i increase this parameter this environment slowly becomes like the autumn so the whole world becomes like autumn so that's what i'm going to show you today again when zero it's green when one it's like this completely dynamic and can be changed in the runtime of the game okay so let's get started right i'll put this project aside and so this is my previous project so i'll quickly get uh, disable this now quickly go to from winter to spring is it actually in here in Sri Lanka there are no summer no seasons just uh, almost same all around the year so I don't really have a good idea about how these seasons work because I haven't experienced it in my life but I have seen videos so I I am trying to mimic what I have seen in videos okay so right so I got rid of the snow and I'll set my time to something like 10 okay and right the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another scalar variable parameter here called auto right and I'll set this to one for now because I need to see the differences as I'm doing the changes to materials right and the next thing is so this is my ma uh, master leaves material I'll clean this up a bit because uh, so all these leaves are created as an instance of this material and uh, therefore if I do some change here all those changes will be reflected in all this all of the world throughout the world okay so that's the base for this dynamic system all right so okay uh, this view looks nice so here I'll we do, uh, I'll create another parameter vector parameter like this and I'll call it autumn color because this is going to be the color of the leaves in the autumn so I'll set the default value to something like this and here we calculate this uh, subsurface value of these leaves like this I get the get uh, an output from the base color and multiply with uh, SS power that means subsurface power so before doing that I'll take another line here and I lerp it with this one and I'll plug it here and as the alpha value 
I am going to use this variable so like this actually this episode is quite simple because we have worked up to this level structure in our all the material system in the world so therefore it is easy for us to control the weather of the environment very easily okay and I'll plug it here and apply okay let's wait until the shaders are compiled right okay so, so now it looks everywhere yellow but that's not good so I'll so I think actually this color is uh, too bright so I'll reduce it a little the default value again okay. okay so now this is the output I got and so it's everywhere yellow so that's not good because as I have seen in the pictures uh, in the autumn we got multiple colors like red green yellow mostly so for that I'll do something like this I'll take the material of one of these bushes so this is where I have defined my bushes so I'll take this ficus plant and open it and so I have this variable here so instead of yellow I'll give it this color red so okay okay that's too bright okay I'll leave it like this because you can fine tune whatever the color you need right let's see okay so now the scene starting to become interesting but still the color variation is not enough and so I'll select uh, one other plant as well and open the material and instead of red I'll give I don't think there are blue color leaves in the water so I'll give some some color like this okay I don't know okay and I got three colors now and for this as for this uh, bigger trees I think uh, I should give some more colors right so here I got these trees and so I have only one material I have used one material for both of those trees so I will duplicate this one and I will use this material for this tree and I will open it and I will set its color to red like this and okay I think we don't have any of the instances so now we do okay and uh, what else can we do uh, uh, this one 
uh, I'll take this one and I'll change the material to this okay right now we got some red trees and I think this yellow is not enough so I'll open this one and increase this yellow color to something like this let's see okay now it's better so so yeah so that's that's all for this uh, dynamic autumn material so if I again show you and take this parameter collection here and change these values to uh, zero it is like this yes I increase this value so it becomes like this and finally like this and okay so that's all for the next this video and in the next video I think I uh, I got some suggestions to work more on the snow system or the winter system because uh, to get some uneven snow layer so that in this this rock surfaces wouldn't have any snow and this there would be some variation of the snow layer thickness alright so I'll see you in the next video and goodbye.